Dear learners and listeners, Namaskar, I am Dr. Shweta and today we are going to talk about another very important topic which is the different domains of development. Whenever we see a child, we often go back to our own childhood. Can you remember the days and activities you did when you were a child? Can you recall what all you did? We all must have been playing and running a lot, whereas now as grown-ups, we mature in our activities and also behave in a different manner. In the family, we can see that our parents behave differently because they are more mature than us. This is because we are in different periods of life, which are called stages. Human life proceeds through different stages. And in this program, we will talk about the development as it takes place in the various stages of human life. So, the objectives of today's program are to describe what is a developmental task. Number two, identify the development stages in human lifespan. Number three, list the main characteristics of development at each stage. Number four, list the developmental tasks representing the different stages. Next, explain the difference between boys and girls after attaining puberty. And the last objective is to explain the critique of Freud's theory of psychosexual development. Let us begin with the first objective, that is the developmental tasks. Human life proceeds by stages. For example, childhood is a stage. After growing up, to some degree, the child proceeds to the adolescent stage. Each stage is characterized by a dominant feature, a leading characteristics which gives the period its uniqueness. For example, a child is expected to go to school, that is one unique feature, and study. And as an adult, the adult is expected to work and support the family. So, these are the different unique features of a particular age. Certain characteristics stand out more prominently than others in these periods and each period is called a stage. As you can see that we are moving from one stage to another stage which is depicted in this picture. People learn certain behavior patterns and certain skills more easily and successfully at certain stages and this becomes the social expectation. For example, a father is supposed to run the family and a child is supposed to study and go to school as is discussed earlier. Such social expectations of a particular age common to all persons are known as the developmental tasks. Developmental tasks are social expectations of a particular age. Have we cursed? was the first developmental psychologist to identify the developmental tasks of different age groups. Developmental tasks at different stages can be seen as follows. For example, birth to six years. What are the main characteristics? The child learns to walk, starts taking uh, solid food, talks, is comfortable with the elimination of the waste from the body, etc. In the same manner, the developmental task from 6 to 12 years differs from that of the early childhood years. In the 6 to 12 years range, the developmental task includes learning to play skills for particular games, learn to get along with the friends of his or her age, learns the gender uh, roles, etc. Whereas, the developmental task for an adolescent is altogether different from the previous two stages. But in comparison to the developmental task from birth to 6 years and 6 to 12 years, the developmental tasks and the expectations of adolescents are entirely different. And we will talk about the developmental tasks of adolescents in the upcoming programs. Let us now know something about the stages of development stages of development that how does the development occurs. All children progress in a definite order through these stages. 
and they all follow similar basic patterns. So, first of all, let us talk about the different stages of development. These are first the prenatal, infancy, early childhood, preschool, school childhood, adolescence, young adulthood, adulthood, mature adult and aging adult. Let us understand these stages in detail. So, first of all, the first developmental stage is the prenatal period. And what is the prenatal period? It is actually the period before birth. That is when the child is inside the mother's womb. That period is known as the prenatal period of development. The second stage is known as infancy. And this stage ranges from 0 to 3 years. It has been found that babies grow very rapidly in size during these first 3 years of development. And they also acquire certain motor skills. For example, they start learning how to crawl, how to walk and they proceed from very simple to complex phenomena. The next stage is known as the preschool childhood. What is a preschool childhood? This stage ranges from the 3 years of life up till the 6 years of life. The growth in height is not as rapid during this stage as it was in infancy. But Children improve their eye-hand coordination. For example, now the children become able to draw a circle. They can pour fluid into a bowl. They can button or unbutton their clothes. And language development is very rapid during this preschool childhood. That is during the 3 to 6 years of your age. The next stage is the school childhood, which is the age range between 6 to 12 years. What happens between the 6 to 12 years? First of all, the children at this age look much taller and thinner because they are growing in their physical body. Children also exhibit rapid gains in strength and swiftness. That is, they become more energetic during these years. And this may be the reason of their looking more thinner and taller. They achieve new motor skills and their competence becomes more pronounced in all areas of development. And what are those areas of development like reading skills, uh, eye-hand coordination, motor skills, etc. The next and very important stage is known as the stage of adolescence. It ranges from 12 years to 20 years. It is a span of years between childhood and adulthood which begins at puberty. This is the period of rapid physiological and psychological changes. Children jump rope, bicycle, ride horses, dance and indulge in all possible games during this stage. Cognitively, they are more agile and social relationships become more important during the adolescent period. But the hallmark of this stage is the search for identity. And the identity is, who am I? What am I supposed to do? A number of psychological changes also take place during this stage. For example, girls attach greater importance to good interpersonal relationships and family. While boys emphasize the importance of their own social prestige and career. The next stage is known as adulthood. And this ranges from 20 to 65 plus years. Now in order to understand adulthood, we should know that adulthood can be uh, separated in three different stages. So first is the young adulthood. And this young adulthood ranges from 20 years of age up till 50 years. Second stage is the mature adulthood or the middle years. This ranges from 50 to 65 years of age. And last is known as the aging adulthood. When people are growing old, that is 65 plus years. Strength and energy characterize this time of life from middle 20s when most bodily functions are fully developed until about the age of 50. Thereafter, there is a gradual decline in energy level. So this was all about the different stages of development. Let us now 
switch on to the next topic which is aspects or areas of development. First of all, we should know what are the aspects of development. That means that what are the different areas in which we grow and develop throughout our lifespan. At each stage, development takes place in various areas or domains simultaneously. Let us talk about development in respective areas during different stages. Babies grow very rapidly in size during their first three years. During the preschool years, children's height no longer increases as rapidly as during infancy and that we have discussed in the development stages as well. It continues to grow at a steady that is 2 to 3 inches per year until they reach the growth spot that occurs during the puberty. That means first of all the children grow in height very rapidly up till 3 years of development. But as discussed earlier after some times there is a gradual increase in their height. But the height start increasing when the growth spurt begins and the growth spurt begins at the puberty stage. School children between the age of 6 to 12 look very different from their preschool brothers and sisters. They are much taller and thinner. This was all about the physical development that is how the body grows during the developmental period. Now let us talk about the motor development. As far as motor development is concerned, there is a definite order for acquiring motor skills. And this order proceeds from acquiring simple skills to complex skills. Initially, babies have a poor motor control. But this increases as they increase in their age. Their motor development shows more control. That is, now they are more able to control their cells. For example, their head they can control their head, they can sit properly, they can walk properly, etc. And they also develop in the eye-hand coordination. This was about the motor development, that is the second area in which we develop. The third area in which we develop during our ages or during our lifespan is known as the cognitive area. That is, we also grow cognitively as we grow up. And what is cognitive development? It relates to the mental growth or your intellectual growth. Cognitive development is influenced throughout by two general principles. That is organization and adaptation. Organization involves the integration of all processes into one overall system. Adaptation is a two-fold process through which children create new structures to deal effectively with their surroundings. The second aspect of cognitive development which is known as adaptation involves two more aspects and these are the assimilation and the accommodation. And these assimilation and accommodation behavior are the essence of intelligent behavior. Let us understand how. Assimilation is the taking in of a new object experience or concept into an existing set of schemata. Whereas in the process of accommodation, the child changes his or her schema so that the responses is better tailored to the object. As you can see, first of all, assimilation all the fruits together and in accommodation, learning to differentiate between different fruits. The next aspect of development is known as moral development. As the name suggests, moral development deals with the development of your ethics or norms, values, concerns and the ability to judge and act morally in the social system. The next aspect of development is known as language aspect that is the acquisition of language. So language development is all about how children learn language and the age at which they acquire different components of language. We will talk about these different components in the upcoming slides. When babies begin to utter meaningful speech, 
they again go through distinct stages. Let us understand that what are those distinct stages? That is what the child learns first in the language development and what comes up successively. First of all, the child learns to utter one word sentences. That is, you might have seen that one year old points to and says out. That is, the one year old acquires the capacity in the language development to point out things and tries to convey his or her meaning. For example, he or she may mean that I want to go out when he or she is pointing out at the front door. The second stage in language development is known as multi-word sentences. Again, you might have seen little children at about the age of two that they develop the capacity to two or more words and they combine those words to make a sentence. For example, they may acquire the ability now to say that me go. You might have seen that this is how the children or the little children use language. The third is known as grammatically correct verbal utterances. That is, now at the age 3, the children or the child acquires the ability to grammatically say the sentences or the child acquires the ability to be grammatically correct. For example, now the child does not point out or does not say a half word, but he would mention that we go to the store. That is, now you can see the difference from stage 1, that is one word sentence utterance and the multi word sentence, that here at the age 3, the child has acquired the capacity to say a whole sentence to convey his or her message. Six year olds use complex grammar and a vocabulary of some 2500 words, but they still have not mastered syntactic niceties. From the age of four, children speak in longer sentences and use more complicated grammar. During the early school years, they rarely use passive sentences or verbs that include the form have or conditional sentences. They develop increasingly sophisticated understanding of syntax up to and possibly after the age of 9. There is diminishing egocentricism during this stage. The next area of development is known as personality development. That is how our personality develops during the growing years. One of the oldest and most frequent theories of personality was given by Freud. According to him, the personality structure has three parts. That is the it, ego and the superego. The ego develops when gratification is delayed. It operates on the reality principle and seeks an acceptable way to obtain the gratification. The superego or which is also known as the consigns incorporates the morals of the society largely through identification with the parent of the same sex. The it is present at birth. Infants are egocentric. In order to make it more clear to you, I would say that it is a childlike behavior. That is the pleasure principle. It works on the pleasure principle. What is the pleasure principle? That is the child is egocentric. The child does not care for anybody else. And whatever he or she wants, he would want at a particular time only. Super ego always talks about the moral principles. But what is the role of ego? The ego balances between the id and the super ego and it works as a police to make a balance between id and super ego and it is developed when gratification is delayed. What gratification is delayed? The gratification of id is delayed. That is how the super ego, ego and it developed and this was given by Freud. Freud has also talked about certain psychosexual stages of development and these are very important. So, first is known as the oral stage of development and the first stage of the life according to Freud is known as the oral stage and it starts right from your birth 
till 12 to 18 months. What happens during the oral stage? The babies attain most of their gratification or satisfaction from sucking anything that can go into their mouth. So this is the first psychosexual stage of development. The next is known as anal stage. And anal stage begins at 12 months and up till 12 to 18 months up till 3 years of age. What happens during anal stage? During anal stage, the child gets pleasure during this stage by moving their bowels and the way toilet training is handled. The next stage is known as phallic stage. According to Freud, the primary zone of psychosexual pleasure changes at about age of 3 or 4 when interest in pleasure become concentrated in the genital areas. Preschoolers are fascinated by anatomical differences between girls and boys and adults and children. There are two very important concepts that have been talked about in the phallic stage. Those are known as the Oedipus complex and the Electra complex. According to the theory of Oedipus complex, a 3 to 6 year old boy lavishes love and affection on his mother, thus competing with his father for the mother's love and affection. Whereas, what is Electra complex? In Electra complex, a little girl desires her father, fears her mother, represses these feelings and eventually identifies with the same sex parent. So, in Oedipus complex, it has been said that the boy gets attracted towards his mother, whereas in the Electra complex, the girls get attracted towards her father and they both envy the same sex parent initially, but eventually as the time passes by, they identify with the same sex parent. Development of superego. By identifying with the parent of the same sex, children actually take the parent's personality into their own. What is this process? In psychoanalytic theory, this is known as introjection. That is, they introject, the children introject their wishes, values and standards. The superego is comparable to conscience. At this stage, a child's conscience is rigid. By middle childhood, youngsters resolve their Oedipal conflicts, accept their sex roles and can now turn their energies to acquiring facts, skills and cultural attitudes. That is, they become more skill oriented at this stage. The next stage or the next aspect of development is known as the psychosocial development. Psychosocial development is about the cultural and societal influences that is how your culture and the society in which you live in influences your personality. Psychosocial development focuses on children's responses to the social world that is how do they respond in the social world. It includes the perception of self that is, who am I? Am I a girl or a boy? I come from what kind of a family? What others are? And the relationship with others. From 2 to 6 years, the child learns how to make social contacts and get along with people outside the house. He or she learns to adapt himself to others and cooperate in a group play. Last, and the very important domain of development is known as emotional development. And whenever we talk about emotional development, it is all about your emotions at various stages. That what kind of emotions do you exhibit and how do your emotions grow over a period of time. So this was all about the different aspects or areas of development. But before I end up, let us summarize that what we could understand in today's program. In today's program, as we all know, we started with development taking place in various stages. Next, we talked about the social expectations and these social expectations comes with a particular age. For example, we said that a child is expected to go to school and the father is expected to earn for the family. 
Another objective of today's program was to discuss about the different areas of development. As we have discussed, the different areas in which development takes place are physical development, motor development, cognitive development, language development, moral development, personality development, emotional development, etc. I hope the content of today's program are clear to you all. With this, I end up for today's program. Thank you.